Walt Disney presents... boldly to sabotage the struggle of freedom-loving colonists in the American Revolution, there was a minority group of Tories who opposed our young country's determination to win its independence. Still loyal to the crown, these Tories cooperated fully with General Cornwallis and his Redcoat Army. One of the most infamous Tory leaders in the southern colonies was Colonel Towns, an arrogant plantation owner. The Swamp Fox was determined to capture him and put him out of action. As we begin this program called Redcoat Strategy, the Swamp Fox has the old Tory on the run. <laughs> sending you to prison at Hobkirk Hill. Nonsense. I'll give you my parole. I can't take it. Why not? It's customary. True, amongst men of honor. You shall answer for that insult, sir. Bradley, take your weapon. Pistols, here and now, although my hands shake it with the cold. <laughs> You're a game old rooster, Colonel. I'll say that for you. However, I don't want to take unfair advantage of you. So get back into the carriage. enough dust for one day. Here. Here's yours. Thank you, sir. Sergeant O'Reilly. Yes, sir. You've been complaining of saddle sores lately? Yeah. Try riding bareback for a while. <laughs> Mr. Marion, I request him to stop by my house. It's not far out of his way. For what reason should Mr. Marion do you a favor? I want to say goodbye to my wife and get some dry clothes before I die of pneumonia. Oh. General! I'm sure Mrs. Towns remembers this. I have good reason to, sir. I told you not to go. It was foolhardy. This is no time for recriminations, my dear. I'm on my way to prison. From White Marsh Road to Hopkirk Hill is a long, cold ride. And I need some dry clothes. And we mustn't keep the general waiting. Just a moment, Towns. I have no desire to play little games of hide and seek. You'll wait in the carriage, let your devoted wife bring the clothing to you. The carriage. 
Colonel Towns' permission, I'll borrow a saddle from the stable, sir. Steal, you mean? They were thieves, the whole lot of you. Oh, we always pay for what we take, Colonel. Pay the man, Peter. Yes, sir. Twenty-one good continental dollars for a first-rate saddle, I'd say. Five, ten, fifteen, one, and another five. Not worth the paper it's written on. Oh, come now, Colonel. You live long enough, it'll be worth something. Oh, allow me. You don't trust me, General. No, ma'am. War breeds nasty habits. Even the habit of suspecting one's lovely neighbor. And with good reason. You'd better put this on, Colonel. It is a long, cold ride on White Marsh Road. Goodbye, my dear. Tell Colonel Tarleton I regret I can no longer be of service to him. Or His Majesty. Ma'am? Ride to Monk's Corner. Tell Colonel Tarleton the Swamp Fox has captured my husband. He's taking him to Hopkirk Prison. Tell him there are only a few men. They're traveling north on the White Marsh Road. Now go quickly. On your horse, Blockett. Fire on volley. That's scatter. Fire! Look to your ships. Carolina will soon be too hot to hold you. Signed, Sergeant O'Reilly, by order of the Swamp Fox. <laughs> your little trick worked just fine, General. Yes, you sure did. With any luck, Jenkins and Huncoat should have ten hours well along toward Hardcote by now. Well, prison should be a walk of relief to him after riding 20 miles on that old gray mare of winds. <laughs> Times is only one. It's a small victory. But we'll keep after these Tory leaders until they're only too anxious to call it quits. Back to Snow Island. We're moving out, Lieutenant. Where to, sir? It's Charleston. I wish it were London. 